this is an overview of chapter three in the PMBOK guide and it talks all about the role of the project manager. Before I get started, let me mention that if you're interested, we have lots of free PMP prep materials at projectprep.org. Got cheat sheets, full length practice tests, note cards, lots of stuff that should be pretty helpful. Okay, so the project manager, the PM, leads the team responsible for achieving the project objectives. That's their goal, to help achieve the objectives under the constraints that have been given to them. And they say that there's a few competencies that PM should have. They should have knowledge, obviously. They need to know about project management. They should be able to perform against that knowledge. And they should have some personal skills, too. Uh, too. They need a good attitude, personality, and leadership skills. And here's some of the skills that are uh, probably pretty common sense that are suggested that a project manager needs. The ability to lead teams, to motivate, communicate, influence, negotiate, an awareness of uh, politics and culture, the building of trust, managing conflict, coaching, all these are skills that can benefit project managers and help them increase the likelihood of project success. Another topic in this chapter is all about, or is about a project manager's sphere of influence. So project managers can influence things, not just on their project, but outside of the project as well. And so in a sphere of influence um, for a project manager, really for anyone, there are certain things that an individual can control, but there's also things that they can influence and affect. And even larger than that, there's things that concern them. So they have things directly over their control, but outside of that, there's things that they may not be able to control, but they could influence or effect. So the project manager's sphere of influence talks about what things the project manager could control but also influence. This is the areas where a project manager has impact. So first of all, they have influence on a project. They lead the team to achieve the project objectives and stakeholder expectations. They've got influence and uh, in many cases control on the project. Then there's organization. They could affect and influence the organization. They could interact with other PMs, help address issues of alignment, priorities, and resources. So even though if they only manage one project in an overall or larger portfolio, they could help ensure that other projects in that portfolio align, all, uh, align with the strategic objectives. They could also influence the industry. They oftentimes stay current with industry trends and identify where to apply those best practices and research from industry on their own projects. And they could also um, publish research uh, that could affect um, other project managers across the industry that adhere to best practices. And then their professional dis discipline. They could influence their professional discipline. They share knowledge with others in the profession and continue their education, They're constantly developing. So these are areas where the project manager could have influence their own project, the organization, the industry, and that they're staying current with industry trends and listening for those trends, and then their professional discipline. They can share knowledge with others in their profession and continue their education. Then there's the PMI talent triangle that's talked about in this chapter. It's really the three aspects, or the three talents, I guess you could say, that project managers should have. They should have leadership skills, skills to direct and motivate a team to achieve goals. And they should have talent in strategy and business management, skills and strategy and expertise in their industry and their organization. So leadership and strategic and business management. And then the other area is technical project management. They have to have project management knowledge and skills, the skills to successfully manage projects, programs, and portfolios. This is what they call the PMI talent triangle. As project managers, we have to have skills in each of these areas. In this chapter, it also distinguishes between leadership and management. And a project manager is going to do probably a little bit of both. Management is all about directing someone to get work done. It focuses on, on systems, and it kind of relies on power and control and has near-term go goals, and it strives to do things right. Certainly, there's a place for that in project management. It's called project management. But leadership is also important, too, the ability to influence others to accomplish something, not just directing them and forcing them to do it, but influencing, motivating, and coaching. And it's uh, focused on relationships, inspiring trust, having a long-term vision, and doing the right things, 
both of these have their place in project management and are important skills uh, for project managers. As one final note, we wanted to mention if you're interested in looking at additional certifications in addition to project management, one that pairs really well with a PMP or a CAPM is a Lean Six Sigma certification. And you can get a free Lean Six Sigma certification over at our sister organization, sixsigmasociety.org.